point one definition, the OSC <coughs> definitions, which we uh, by default use, because we do not spell out each individual animal that would be considered livestock. And uh, it, it says, uh, as used in this chapter, livestock means either of the following. The thing about this board is this. Right, wrong, or indifferent. We can make any decision we want to make. My thoughts have always been the same. Wherein, yes, we are allowed latitude in making any decision we want to make. I also realize that most of our codes, in fact, all of our codes and ordinances were put in place, not for the single individual, but for collectively the entire. So it's not a question of what I personally think is right or wrong. I've always leaned towards the letter of the law. Okay. But yes, we can make that decision. Thank you. 
because laws can change, ordinances can change, codes can change, and situation and time changes things. So that will not. And there may come a time when maybe a hundred chickens is okay. There may come a time when eggs will be no, that's not going to be the way it is. Uh, so now, if we were in the position here of allowing or granting a variance, okay, we seriously at that point, we are going to seriously uh, damage the code, in my opinion. A lot of thought went into the building of our codes. A lot of thought by council in accepting this code and making and passing the ordinances necessary to make this code effective. So, yes, we have some latitude, but I personally tend to lean towards the letter of the law. So, other questions or discussion? It just pertains to the chickens. I mean, you limit the chickens, somebody comes up and wants some cows. I mean, we got a problem. <laughs> You see, the, the, the thing is, since, and for every reason I asked Mr. Wallace the question, do we always refer the Ohio Revised Code concerning issues concerning animals that are listed here, do we always refer to the Ohio Revised Code? Now, I would have the same fear that you have, and that is that if we allow number to be specified is this is how many chickens you can have. Uh, you're right, somebody can come in and ask for and cows and horses. And I lived in Carlisle many years ago, and that was a question many years ago. I mean, many years ago, I moved here in 1961, so I've seen some changes over time. So. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, said that sometimes you know you need to meet your accuser. Your accuser needs to come forward and give their name. You know, come in honestly. You know, you know, Joe Blow cross. Don't even live in this town. Could call his father an anonymous complaint. And here we got people living in our town that's having to deal with other people's issues. And if you're not willing to give your name.
address the cars that have been parked in the front yard. There were 60 some citations sent out last month. Uh, a number of those were about parking in car, cars in the front yard, which we could not address prior because they had been allowed. Yes. Um, so yeah, those those are being addressed. Again, I haven't heard nobody apply for an appeal yet. 